Let's take a look at how NPSP handles the situation when all members of a household are deceased. NPSP uses a special field called All Household Members Deceased to control automations for this scenario. Normally, this is updated automatically by NPSP as a result of updates to the deceased checkbox on household member contacts. You may have noticed that the help text for this field asks the user not to update the field manually. In this video, we will disregard those instructions in order to artificially create this scenario so we can explore what happens. This is not the recommended way to normally manage your constituents. We first click on the setup gear icon in the top right corner of the screen. Then we click on the object manager tab. Let's select the account object and then fields and relationships on the left hand side menu. Select the field labeled all household members deceased and then click on the field level security button to set who can view this field in our org. Once we have the field level security set, click the Save button at the top of the screen. Next, we need to add this field to the page layout so that our users can see it. Click on the Page Layouts option in the left-hand side menu. Let's add it to our household layout by selecting that option here and then clicking and dragging the field onto the page layout where we want it. We finish up by saving this page layout. Now, when the deceased checkbox is selected on all contacts within a household, NPSP will select the All Members Deceased checkbox on the related household account. Check out NPSP documentation for more details and best practices. Thanks for watching.